What's going on all you mentees? Uncanny Omar here from Near Mint Condition, the home of collected editions. And it's time to empty those wallets and fill those shelves. That's right. We are talking about the collected editions coming out in November of 2022. Omnis, Absolutes, Trade Paperbacks, Deluxe Editions, Limited Editions, uh, Hardcovers, and Manga. So, get those pencils and papers ready. Unless you're in our Patreon, because the written documentation is part of our Patreon. So, let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, everybody. So, but I said earlier, if you want written documentation, that is one of our tiers on our Patreon. And the link to our Patreon is in the description of this video. We have five weeks to talk about in the month of November. There are a lot. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of books coming. Uh, before getting started, though, I want to thank Aaron Cobbs for helping me put together the list of Marvel and DC books. Um, and thank you to our patrons for making videos like this possible. Could not be doing this without you all. Five weeks. And as always, some dates are subject to change. So keep that in mind. Just because it's on the solicits and catalog doesn't mean that it's actually coming out. But it is... Um, They've been pretty good, especially with the Marvel and DC books. They've been coming out when they have been scheduled to come out. So we will see if that tradition continues. Only I think one or two books have slipped into this month from last. I always do a top 10, usually on Sunday, of my recommended or essential buys. This time, because of all these amazing books coming out this month, it was really hard. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And hit that like button, please. And ring that bell for notifications. That lets you know when our videos are going live. All right. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with the first week. The week of November 1st, we have from Marvel Comics, Avengers vs. X-Men. Omni. So it is finally coming out that particular week. And this here contains pretty much the omnibus, or I'm sorry, the two oversized hardcovers, Put together, and I'll be doing an advanced overview of that particular book on Monday. So keep an eye out on the channel. I'll try to do a couple of these on Sunday. Extreme X Men by Chris Claremont Omnibus. This is the standard edition coming out, and we already have the direct market cover that came out this past week, and I've already done an overview of that. Uh, Daredevil Epic Collection. It comes with claws. Love that cover there with Saber Tooth. This collects issues 234 to 252. Of Daredevil, so we have some Anacenti greatness in there. Arthur Adams uh, doing, I think he's the one that did that cover, honestly. Uh, we do have some stuff in here by Steve Ditko, though. And we also are getting Power Man and Iron Fist Epic Collection Hardball. No, that is not Iron Man. This collects Power Man and Iron Fist 108 to 205. Miles Morales is coming back with this is the third printing of this book. The first one. I think was notorious for having bad uh, binding. The second one, they gave us new covers. This time around, what they've done is they've changed the title of the books. We're, it's now called Miles Morales Spider-Man Omnibus. This is Volume 1. Volume 2, I believe, is the following month or January. Collecting Ultimate Comics Spider-Man 1 through 28 and 16.1. Spider-Man 1 through 5. Cataclysm Ultimate Spider-Man 1 through 3. Ultimate Spider-Man 200, Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man 1 through 12, and then material from Ultimate Fallout number 4. Spider-Gwen Unmask, and this collects issues 24 through 34 of Spider-Gwen. Heroes Reborn, America's Mightiest Heroes, Omnibus. So this is the third Omnibus that week that's coming. Uh, collecting the big event that was written by Jason Aaron that got started in his Avengers uh, series that he is currently writing now for the people that are uh, going to ask and have been asking me is this stuff going to be collected in a possible avengers omnibus by jason aaron i would say not because this is 568 pages and it's honestly a standalone universe so it collects the seven issue mini the heroes return and this is not the classic stuff like right? the it's weird to call heroes reborn and heroes return classic the stuff from the 90s this is the stuff from 2021 this has been available in trade paperback Daredevil by Chip Zdarsky to Heaven Through Hell, Volume 3, is coming out. And this collects 21 through 30 and annual number 1 from Chip Zdarsky's amazing run. Star Wars The Halcyon Legacy, uh, collecting the five-issue miniseries, or is it an ongoing? I think it might be that ongoing. X-Men Red by Al Ewing, Volume 1. Dude, I read this last month, and it was freaking awesome. 
I love Al Ewing. I love what he's doing with X Men. Andy, um, yeah, I can't wait to uh, read that Avengers X Men Eternals book, Venom by Al Ewing and Ron V, Volume Two, Deviation, collecting issues six through ten. I think people told me the series picks up because I, while I liked the first issue, I wasn't a fan of the rest of the trade paperback of the first volume. Maestro, World War M, collecting the five-issue miniseries. This is a trade paperback, but it will also be collected in that omnibus. Spider-Man 2099, Exodus. This is not in the 2099 omnibus. Uh, collecting Alpha 1 through 5 and Exodus Omega. And from the world of DC Comics, we have Batman Shadow War. Dude, that cover. I, I, I had to do a double take because I thought that cover was either Billy Tan or Francis Manipal. But no, that cover is actually Roger Cruz. So good for him. Still at it after all these years. Changing up his styles all the time, though. Uh, Joshua Williamson and Howard Porter come together to write this particular story that went through the pages of Batman and Robin and Deathstroke. So this collects Batman 122 and 123, Robin 13 and 14, Deathstroke Incorporated 8 through 9, Shadow War Alpha and Omega, and Warzone number 1. This here, I think, is... Yeah, it is a standard size hardcover. Batgirls Volume 1 and... I cannot wait to finish reading this. I, I had to break down and read the first issue did or first two issues digitally. I was like, nope, I'll wait for the trade. It's right around the corner. So this collects the first six issues plus the short stories from Batman 115 to 117. Tales of the Amazons. And I believe that is Nicola Scott on the cover. Mike Conrad and Marcio Takara coming together, collecting issues 781 to 784. Of Wonder Woman, 80th Anniversary Hunter, Super Spectacular Number 1, Artemis Wanted, Olympus, Rebirth, and Nubia Coordination one-shots. Task Force X, or sorry, Task Force Z, uh, Creature of Habit here. Volume 1, Death's Door, so this is our new Suicide Squad, collecting issues 1 through 6, plus the short stories from Detective Comics 1041 to 1043. From the world of manga, this is really interesting because it's Hayao Miyazaki's uh, Shuna's Journey, and it's a new book. I I haven't even heard about this uh, until I found it in the catalog. I don't think it's mm, I don't think it's been promoted well, maybe, but it's being published by First Second Books, so that's where the translation is coming from. And this is just a brand new manga from him. So man. You have the words Hayao Miyazaki, I'm in. It's gonna, this, is, this is what I mean by it. It's already going to be difficult to choose 10 from the ones I've mentioned. No Longer Human Complete Collection. This is a book for anybody that collects manga and ever tries to find out-of-print books. You all know the freaking struggle because how expensive these books get. I believe Volume 3 of this series specifically was going for over $300 at one time just for Volume 3. Now you can have the whole complete collection for or $29.95. Every single uh, volume is collected in this all-in-one. And this is published by Vertical Comics, so thank goodness. It's the same publisher that published it uh, the first time around. We're also getting Akashi Triangle, and that is published by Ghost Ship. And Ghost Ship, I think, is the adult-only Seven Seas publishing, maybe? Norigami Omnibus Volume 2. I never did do an overview of the first volume. I need to do that in Spriggan. Uh, I am so behind on videos, it feels like. One Punch Man, Volume 24. My goodness. Can't wait for that to become a box set, honestly. Uh, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh, from the world of Image Comics, we have Adventure Man, Volume 4. Or, I'm sorry, Volume 2. This is the hardcover, collecting issues 5 through 9. Matt Fraction, Terry Dotson, Rachel Dotson, Clayton Cowles. Joined together to tell this particular story. I don't think some of y'all told me it was really good. And then we're getting a continuation of Ice Cream Man with Volume 8 of the trade paperback. Collecting issues 29 through 32. Righteous Thirst for Vengeance, Volume 2. This is a series by Rick Remender and Andre Lima, Andre Lima Araujo. And collecting issues 6 through 11. This is a series I've not heard about. Loaded Bible Volume 2 is coming out that week, too. That is an awesome freaking title, Loaded Bible Volume 2. 
And from Dark Horse Comics, we have Tarzan of the Apes. So Edgar Rice Burroughs, Pablo Marcos in that widescreen format that I did an overview of whenever I did a bunch of books from Dark Horse. I need to actually film a couple of videos for them. Stephen McCrane, Space Boy, Omnibus Volume 3. Anybody read this? This collects Space Boy Volume 7 through 9 in one Omnibus format, which is a soft cover Omnibus. But I just out of curiosity, how good is it? I've heard mixed feelings about it. Bird King Volume 1. Looks interesting. And Immortals Phoenix Rising, A Traveler's Guide to the Golden Isle. What a title. What an epic title. This is a hardcover with a beautiful, beautiful cover. Um, I think based on a video game, if I'm not mistaken... Maybe? Firefly Return to Earth. That was the Lux Edition. I'm so jealous of the people that have been collecting Firefly and the Lux Edition. They are beautiful books, and I was stubborn and I couldn't get the first one, and I didn't go back and get the second one. And I think this is the third one. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, or uh, just Mighty Morphin, Volume 5. Matt Groom, Moises Hidalgo, in Hugh Lee doing that cover. Collecting issues 17 through 20 of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. And the complete 8-ball, 1 through 18, is coming out. And this is in softcover format. I believe it's already been printed in hardcover format. This is from Fantagraphics. And we're also going to get Guilt. And not G-U-I-L-T, but G-I-L-T from Ahoy Comics. This here is by Elisa Quitney. And Maury Set is the artist on the book. Hilda Trollberg Stories. The Anytime I see this little girl, I think of my daughter and I reading this when... Actually, both of them, both Alicia and Lydia. Look, Pearson has been publishing these books for a long time. This is from No Brow. Actually, right now, my daughter and I are reading some No Brow books. We're going to be doing a review together because I miss doing reviews with Miss Lydia. And, as, and um, adjectiveless Alicia, too. We need to get the family review back. Katie, the cat sitter, box set coming out. How is that... Not going to be on our bookshelves with cats. Kittens and dragons. Gosh dang it. More cats. <laughs> Kittens and dragons. That looks adorable though. This is from Van Ryder Games. And it is a hardcover. Mother Christmas Volume 1. Muse. I'm not sure what this is. This is, this is published by Rosarium Publishing. And it's written by Valia Dudis Lupescu. And the art is by Victoria Terra. So what actually happened 1800 years ago to transform a starry-eyed young priest named Nicholas into a winter wizard? Hmm. Phantom Complete Dailies, Volume 25, 1974 to 1975. So for the people that were worried that Hermes Press was going to stop publishing these, here we are, or the latest date, rather. Written by Lee Falk and Seymour C. Barry is the artist on those particular dailies. Play Like a Girl coming out. I guess it's about a hockey team? Is that a football team? Oh, it's football. I know sports. I know sports. And Project MK Ultra Volume 2. This one is uh, published by Crover. Crover. I'm kidding. I'm talk pretty one day. Clover Press. Stuart Kenneth Moore is the writer. Brandon Beckner is the artist. Scott Zampila is also the artist on that book. And Sculptor, hardcover with a brand new dust jacket. This is a book that First Second did a few years ago. And they're reprinting the hardcover. This is by Scott McCloud. And that is the gentleman that wrote Understanding Comics. I'm always pushing that book on my channel for anybody new to collected editions or graphic novels. Stuff of Legend, hardcover volume 1, The Dark, and volume 2, The Jungle, are being reprinted. And this will have the additional stuff. The what was it? The Colonel War, the Colonel's War Journal, maps, sketches, and all the other original material. Please bring this series back. It's about a bunch of stuffed animals that get brought to life when their boy, their owner, is kidnapped by the boogeyman, and they go into this other world. Oh man, it's so freaking good! I love it. What have I done? A hidden gems on that? I can't keep up with my hidden gems. I need to start a list. You start a list. New Year's resolution. Are we already talking about the New Year resolution? I can't be talking about the New Year, really. All right. Next up is Sweet Valley Twins from Random House Publishing. And that is both the hardcover 
and the soft cover. Tales of Eternia hardcover. Uh, this is He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, which I find interesting because this is published by Amulet Books. And I thought that it was Dark Horse that owned that right. So, not sure what, what that is about then. Um, could be that maybe maybe it's a maybe it's just a novel then. Techno Priest. This is the new edition. It is a hardcover. Uh, this is Alejandro Jodorowsky. And oh man, who is it's it's not Jimenez or, or Mobius, of course. It's a, oh my gosh. Uh Zoran, I think. Junk Junktev? Junktetov? Oh man. I can't remember who and I didn't write it down like an idiot. <laughs> but it's not Jimenez or Mobius. Tom, the Dancing Bull, All Might Comics. That is coming out. That looks like a take on Action Comics number one. So this is Tom, the Dancing Bull, All Mighty, All Mighty Comics. Ruben Bowling is the writer on that. And Trece, Volume 5. This is a comic that was sent to me by uh, some of my viewers. And I believe it's translated from the Philippines. So it's a Filipino comic. And it's made into a Netflix series. Try out both the hardcover and the graphic novel are coming out the same day. Um, Washington White graphic novel is coming out, and that one's published by Secret Acres. And We Live hardcover, that one's published by Aftershock. Who will make these pancakes five stories hardcover? That looks so interesting, not just because of the cover, but it's fan of graphics. And it's just five brilliant comic stories united by themes of motherhood and family and love. So I'm in. It's all done by Megan Kelso. So I want to check that out. It looks interesting. Windsor McKay's Complete Little Nemo Hardcover. This is what I mean. This is so freaking hard to choose 10 books. Because I want... Okay, you know what? I'm going to sneak that one in there. I'm going to sneak... That's number 11 if you watch my top 10. Windsor McKay's Complete Little Nemo. How did I not make that 10? That... That... that Book is so good. Now I realize it's not for everybody. It's humongous. And it's the hardcover. I don't know if it's going to be as big as the slipcase. Can't see, but the slipcase is up there. It is humongous. I may do an overview of it the week that it comes out so you kind of get an idea of how big it might be. Shift presents Empire. So it looks like Empire is now going to be published by Shift. And Empire was first published by, of course, DC Comics. And then it was IDW, but now is Shift uh, Publishing that is doing it. Mark Wade and Barry Kitson's masterpiece. It's one of the most underrated books. I did add that one to my Hidden Gems if you want to check that out. You should be checking out Hidden Gems anyway, because you have books like that that nobody really talks about. The week of November 8th, we have X-Men First Class Road Trips coming out from Marvel Comics. And this is Jeff Parker, Roger Cruz, Eric when drawing that cover right there, collecting first class one through nine. And this is called Road Trips. Incredible Hulk Epic Collection Fall of Pantheon is coming out back to print. Uh, this time around $44.99. Collecting Tells to Astonish number one, Incredible Hulk versus Venom. And Incredible Hulk 420 to 435. Captain Carter, Woman Out of Time. It's a new mini series that came out. Just Captain Carter. Uh, collecting five issues by Jamie McKelvey and Marika uh, Cresta doing the artwork. And Fantastic Four, Volume 11, Reckoning War, Part 2. Dan Slott, Rachel Slott, Andre DeVito. Uh, the artwork by Kafu. Collecting issues 43 through 46 as he is about to wrap up that series with issue number 50. Wolverine Omnibus, Volume 2, coming back to print that day. All three different covers are coming back. Collecting Wolverine issues 11 through 30. Havoc and Wolverine Meltdown 1 through 4. Yay, we did it. We made that happen. Wolverine, Nick Fury, the Scorpio Connection. Wolverine, the Jungle Adventure. Wolverine, Bloodlust. And then material from Marvel Comics presents 38 through 71. Uh, the book retails for $125 and it has 1,248 pages. Invaders Omnibus coming out finally. Although I haven't gotten my review copy as of this video, so... I mean, I hope it's not delayed. All the other books so far I've gotten review copies of. And they usually send them about a month, sometimes to two weeks ahead of time. Uh, but this collects Invaders 1 and 2, Invaders 1 through 41, Annual Number 1, Marvel P Premiere 21 through 30, Avengers 71, Invaders 1 through 4, What If Number 4, 
Fantastic Four Annual 11, Marvel 2 and 1 number 1, Marvel 2 and 1 number 20, and material from Captain America 22. 1,152 pages. All three covers are coming out that day. $125. Knock on wood, though, coming out that day. Marvel Masterworks, The Fantastic Four, Volume 24. More of the John Byrne era. So, collecting issues 258 to 268. Alpha Flight, number 4. The Thing, number 10. My gosh, he was working on all three books at one time. Plus, material from Fantastic Four, Special Edition, number 1. The Thing, 7. And Marvel Fanfare, number 15. So... That one is $75. New Mutants by Vida Yala, Volume 3. I thought this was already out for some reason. Collecting issues 25 through 28. Black Panther by John Ridley, Volume 2. You know, people were hating on the first one. No, not everybody. Some people were. I didn't have a problem with the first volume. I thought it was all right. Um, I don't know. To each their own. Black Panther 6 through 10 of the new Black Panther series. Star Wars The Mandalorian Season 1 Part 1. Collecting Star Wars The Mandalorian 1 through 4. George's Genty drawing it. Oh, okay. Big fan of his work ever since... Uh, he did Weapon X and then he was, uh, he was the artist on Buffy. From the world of DC Comics, we have Catwoman Volume 1. Dangerous Liaisons. And this collects issues 39 through 44 by Teeny Howard and Nico Leon doing the artwork on that. And we also have Justice League Volume 2 United Order. This is the hardcover, Brian Michael Bendis' era of Justice League, Steve, uh, Steve Pugh, Phil Hester, and collecting issues 64 through 71. It is a standard size hardcover. Uh, One Star Squadron is coming out, and that is by Mark Russell and Steve Lieber. And it is issues one through six of One Star Squadron. Oh, yeah. Flash by Mark Wade, Omnibus Volume 1. Collecting issues 62 to 91. Flash annuals four and six through six. Green Lantern 30 through 31. And number 40, Flash Special number one. And Justice League Quarterly number 10. $150, 1,088 pages. Ju Wait, no, I already said Justice League. Wonder Girl Homecoming. So, this collects issues uh, Wonder Girl 1 through 7, Future State Wonder Woman 1 and 2, and then a selection from Infinite Frontier number 0. Joelle Jones, with a Joelle Jones cover there. Very nice. And Absolute Dark Knight's Metal finally coming out. This book was delayed, I think. It was supposed to come out in August, uh, but it's finally coming. Dark Knight's Metal 1 through 6. Batman Lost number one, Dark Knight's Metal Director's Cut, and Dark Knight's Rising in the Wild Hunt. Uh, this one has 328 pages, $125. So there is an omnibus coming out, and I'll be doing an overview of this when I get it, and of course the omnibus, but just to, for the differences. Diana and Nubia, Princesses of the Amazon. That's geared towards the young adult audience. And from the world of manga, we have Seven Deadly Sins, Four Nights of, or Four Nights Apocalypse. So this must be a spin-off series from the original Seven Deadly Sins. I can assume. Uh, let me know in the comments down below if you know more about it. Uh, Vertical Comics is publishing Avant-Garde Yumeko. And not sure what that's about, but I love to see Vertical is very picky about the books that they publish uh, from time to time. I mean, they, they, they don't bring out that many books. So it's good to see a new book. Go Go Loser Ranger Volume 1. I think this was supposed to come out last month, but it snuck into here. It's from Kadansha Studios. Tokyo Aliens Volume 1. That looks really interesting. Um, and it is a Volume 1. This one's published by Square Enix Manga. Shinjuku. This is the new uh, edition of Shinjuku. It's written by Mink, and the illustrations in here are by Yoshitako Amano. And it is $49.99. It is a hardcover with 184 pages. So it's Yoshitako Amano, Final Fantasy, Vampire Hunter D. I'm pretty sure most of you all know who that is by now. Rent a Girlfriend box set. It was in my top 10 last month. It will remain in my top 10 this month. Um, but I'm just not going to mention it. It just goes without saying. That's been moved to this month. Psychopaths, Inspector, Shinya, Kogami. Anybody reading this? And I want to know if it's based on the video game or if it's a brand new story. I think it was a video game. 
Yakuza fiance. Yeah, I mean, looks interesting. I thought about the uh, house husband when I saw Yakuza fiance. Maybe cashing in on that. All right, from the world of Image Comics, we have It's Lonely at the Center of the Earth. I love that cover. Zoe Thorogood is the writer and artist. It's an autobiographic bio, bio, novel. Why did I have a hard time saying that? That looks really interesting. Spawn Scorched Volume 1 is coming out that week. And this is uh, Sean Lewis, Tom McFarlane, Steven Segovia, Paolo Siqueira, uh, collecting the first six issues of Spawn Scorched. And a book that was, I think it was in my top ten, but unfortunately it got moved into this month, and that is Gideon Falls Deluxe Edition Volume 2. Not going to get it in October, but it is coming out in November. So, hey, that's a plus. It's still coming. Time Before Time Volume 3. I believe this one was also supposed to come out earlier this year. Uh, Declan Shalvey. Rory Mc McConville, and collecting issues 13 through 17. Anybody reading that series? I'd like to know a little bit about it, because it looks interesting. Twig! This is the Scotty Young series, and it looks adorable. Kyle Stram is the artist on it, collecting the first five issues. I don't know if it's an ongoing or not. Looks a little bit like Cookie Monster meets Bone, I guess, just based on that cover. Grendel Omnibus Volume 2. So they are reprinting the Grendel Omnis at Dark Horse. $29.99 for 552 pages. But keep in mind, these are trade paperback editions. And they're doing them in chronological order. Oh, it's been so many decades since I've read Grendel. So it was nice to read Volume 1. It is some heavy reading, though. Daisy, this is a hardcover. And I believe this collects issues 1 through 5. Colin Lorimer is the writer and artist. The Art of DuckTales, oh yes please, and I know it's classic, not classic DuckTales, but it's new DuckTales, doesn't matter. There's a deluxe edition and a standard edition coming out. As well as a deluxe and standard edition of The Art of Star Wars Visions. This looks so good. This one's brought to you by Dark Horse Books and Lucasfilm. I love when uh, two forces like that come together. And from the world of IDW, we have Godzilla vs. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So keep in mind, this was not published by Boom Studios, but IDW, so it probably won't be in the oversized hardcovers. Collecting all five issues of that hardcover, that looks so awesome. Colin Bunn is the writer on that. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Reborn, Volume 5, Mystic Sister. Sophie Campbell still writing those stories, um, but they kept the legacy number of issues 124 to 130 of IDW's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. The Fever in Urbicande. And this is part of the Obscure Cities. Okay, so it's part of a series of books. And Farm Systems, that's F.A.R.M. And not sure what this is. Apparently it's a follow-up to the pop culture satire, Three Fingers, The King, and B.B. Wolf. Hmm. This one's done by Rich uh, Koswalski. From the world of Boom Comics, we have Seven Secrets Trade Paperback Volume. Three. Tom Taylor, Danielle Di Nicolo are the creators of this and collecting issues 13 through 18 of Seven Secrets. And we have album cover art of Sunra Saturn label. And that looks like a really interesting book. Like, I mean, Fantagraphics always makes interesting books, but it's just drawn from the private collections. This is the first comprehensive collection of Saturn labels record covers. All your racial problems will soon end. New York Review Comics. Dr. Charles Johnson is the writer. Let's see, before he found his fame as a novelist, he won a National Book Award for Middle Passage in 1991. He was a cartoonist at the New York Post. Okay, so this is what it's showing. It's a collection of his cartoons. I've, I've not heard of that. Uh, hmm, the title, though. Below Ambition, uh, this one here is published also by Fantagraphics, and I believe that one was supposed to come out in October, but looks like it's been pushed until November. And Sophie's World, Volume 1, that is published by Self-Made Hero. And we're also getting the Warlord of Mars Attacks. Love that title. 
and putting, I guess, two properties together, published by Dynamite. We Ride Titans. Oh, I love that title too. But is it Big Titans? Is that what we ride? Or Big Giant Robots? This is by Vault Comics. Tress Dean is the writer on that book. Accidental Sar Life of Vladimir Putin. This is published by First Second Books. And it is written by Andrew Weiss. And Box Brown is the artist and cover artist on that book. Cimmerion, or Cimmerian. Why did I say it with an accent? Uh, volume 4 is coming out. This looks awesome. Like, it's not as... I'll be honest, it's not as good as Conan the Barbarian. But the artwork is really cool. And if you like adult stuff like sexual content and over-the-top violence, this is more for you. So it's a uncensored, if you will, version of Robert E. Howard's graphic novels. But there wasn't really a Robert E. Howard graphic novel. So it's not like it's borrowing from anything except for the novels. It's doing the exact same thing that Dark Horse and Marvel and now Titan will do. But uh, this one collects stories... Beyond the Black River. Ooh, Hour of the Dragon. Freaking awesome story. But like I said, don't expect ex expect the level of writing that you found in the Dark Horse books or the or the Marvel books. But still fun. Not gonna lie. I still I still enjoyed it. Cool Code, Volume Four, and both the hardcover and the graphic novel are coming out that same day. Department K Interdimensional Investigators, Volume One. That is being published by Rebellion 2000 AD. They're coming out with a lot of stuff. Um, Devil's Highway Volume 2. AWA is publishing those books. Disney Bros. Fabulous Story of Walt and Roy by NBM. And Knights of the Fifth Dimension. That title right there. I really thought this was going to be a Mad Cave book. But Knights of the Fifth Dimension is coming out. But it is not Mad Cave. We're also getting Mezzo Volume 2 Battle at Coban Rock. And Notes from a Sick Bed graphic novel. Um, nobody, uh, dude, being sick, not fun. Oh, I don't recommend it for anyone or to anyone. Organisms from an Ancient Cosmos. And this one here is a hardcover collection. Segments Trade Paperbacks, or Trade Paperback, just one trade paperback. That looks really awesome. I love that cover. And I believe, yeah, that's Jimenez. This is a Jimenez book I don't think I've read. So I'm really interested in this one. Richard Malka is the artist on, or the writer on the book. And it's published by Heavy Metal Magazine. Terry and the Pirates, Master Collection, Volume 3. And then to wrap up that week, this book looks really interesting. Maybe it's just the cover. The Voices of Water. It's really interesting. The week of November 15th, and at this moment, I just want to remind you all to smash that like button, please. If you're enjoying the video, make sure you're subscribed. We put out videos every day. Trials of X, Volume 2, that's what you're looking at here. That's what you've been looking at. Uh, so this collects, as far as the solicits are, the Cable Reloaded, Trial of Magneto 3 through 5, and Wolverine number 14. That could all change. Uh, Mighty Marvel Masterworks, Namor the Submariner, Volume 1, getting his own Masterworks. Collecting Tells to Astonish 70 through 80 and Daredevil number 7. So we're starting with the Silver Age. And a lot of people have pointed out, where is the Iron Man Mighty Marvel Masterworks? Crazy that we have Namor but no Iron Man. Thor Epic Collection, Thor War. Oh yes, baby. Give me some more of that DeFalco era and Ron Friends era of Thor. Collecting issues 437 to 450, annual 16 through 17 of Thor. This book is 472 pages, $44.99. Ultimates by Miller and Hitch Omnibus. Now, for the first time, it's coming with two different covers. And $100, 856 pages, collecting Ultimates 1 through 13, Ultimates 2, 1 through 13, and then the variant edition, Ultimates Annual Number 1. So this is the third printing of it. Marvel Masterworks, The Tomb of Dracula, Volume 2. That Tomb of Dracula, Volume 1, is beautiful. Like, the restoration on the art. And I know it sucks waiting one year for every volume. But if you can wait it out, maybe we can get those files and use them on the reprint of the Omni, especially Volume 2. Tomb of Dracula, 12 through 22. Werewolf by Night 15. Giant-sized Spider-Man, Number 1. And material from Dracula Lives 4 and 6. 
Venom, Lethal Protector, Heart of the Hunted. My wife picked up the first issue randomly, but she's a big fan of David Michelinie and Venom, so she had to get it. Artwork by Ivan Fiorelli, so it's a five-issue miniseries all collected here. From the world of DC Comics, we have Batman Spawn, the classic collection. Man, it's so crazy how fast these th this came about. You hear about it, they snuck it into the catalog, they snuck it into solicits. It's like they really want to sell this. Uh, so it's War Devil number one, and then the Spawn uh, Batman one-shot by Frank Miller, Todd McFarlane, and Klaus Jansen. Doug Mensch is also the writer on here. But um, yeah, and then I saw a cover being put together by Greg Capullo, and within like two hours it was already colored, and they added it to the catalog. How in the world do they push this out? Maybe they're like, all right, we got a limited time. The Todd Father has spoken. We're only given a few days to do this. Grayson the Super Spy Omnibus coming back to print. This is the 2022 edition. Collecting Grayson 1 through 20, Futures End number 1, Secret Origins 8, Annuals 1 through 3, Robin War 1 and 2, and Nightwing Rebirth number 1. This is all uh, in during the New 52 era when Dick Grayson went as a super spy young justice book six brings me so much joy to see this book actually come out after years of us not thinking it was gonna do it uh peter david todd knock are the creators on this book and this is it this wraps it up we've waited years for it to wrap up so glad that it's finally happening arkham city the order of the world and man that cover is creepy dan waters danny strips is the artist collecting Order of the World 1 through 6 and the complete stories by Dan Waters. It is part of the DC line, though. It's not a black label line, and this is a paperback. Wonder Woman Earth 1 complete collection coming out. And Grant Morrison, Yannick Paquette, $39.99, all in a softcover format. The entirety of that series. And from the world of manga... Damn, it breaks my heart still. Berserk, Volume 41, coming out. Yeah. Ah, uh, man. It's going to be rough to do a video on that one. But it's all about companions, right? And meeting new friends. So, uh, do you like big girls? Let's change the subject up some. Come on now. Need a little brightness in this room. Gosh, dang. I Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. That makes me feel a little better. Uh, Hina Matsuri, Volume 17. I added that here because I just like the title. I just wanted to say the name, and I'm probably mispronouncing it. Uh, this is printed by One Piece. Masao Otake is the writer and artist. I had no idea that One Piece, that's P-E-A-C-E. -E. Peace, peace. Uh, not One Piece, like the One Piece that Luffy's looking for. An older guy's VR first love. I added that here because I think that title hits close to home for me. <laughs> One day. <laughs> what, 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 is, what are we talking about? As a reincarnated aristocrat appraisal skills, volume one. You all know why I added that on here. That, that just the title. My goodness. I love it. it it's cute. Asumi-chan is interested in lesbian brothels. That's another one that just brightened up the room. <laughs> Asumi, -chan. you go on and do you, Asumi-chan. Attack on Titan Omnibus Volume Seven. I believe they're also going to wrap up the series in colossal format. Uh, format. Clicking volumes nineteen through twenty-one in one big omnibus format. And you like me, not my daughter. What's happening with these titles? I, I, I like you both. What's up? All right. From the world of Image Comics, we have Mr. Lovestein presents Failure Hardcover. I love that cover. Um, this is by J.L. Westover, written and drawn by him. Cobra Master Collection. I met Michael Fife at Heroes Con. He was such a good guy. And I want to have him on the show. The, I'll try to do it before this book comes out. Um, so please, Omar, remind yourself to reach out to him. He's so kind. And he, we were talking about this book and how it all got started. But they're getting a deluxe edition. It's being published by Image Comics. So good for him, man. Love seeing that. 
Deadly Class Volume 12, Farewell, or A Fond Farewell Part 2. Yep, uh, they're already solicited, not solicited, but we've seen the art for the final hardcover. This collects issues 53 to 56. Die! Hardcover. Collecting issues 1 through 20. Plus, I think it's going to have all the uh, extra material, because it's like a Dungeons & Dragons um, tabletop game. Philadelphia Deluxe Edition Volume 1. This is something that's been on my radar for a, for a while now. Rodney Barnes and Jason Sean Alexander collecting issues 1 through 12 and chapters 1 through 5 of the terrifying werewolf tie-in story from Elysium Gardens. I don't know anything about it. I think some of you all have told me it's a fun book. So I will definitely be checking it out. And we're also getting the Metal Society. This is by Zach Kaplan. And collecting issues 1 through 5 of the Metal Society. Plants vs. Zombies. Oh, wait, no. Plants vs. Zombies. Zomnibus, Volume 2. Uh, published by Dark Horse Books. Uh, man, I, that brings back memories of me and my kids playing those games. A long time ago. Avatar The Last Airbender Team Avatar Treasury Box Set Graphic Novels. That is a beautiful looking box set. Uh, this is $38.97. Air Volume 1 by G. Will Wilson, M.K. Perker, Chris Chuckery, and Jared Fletcher. And this is getting a lot of praise by creators like uh, Gail Simone, uh, Neil Gaiman. So I'm curious to see what this is. Powers Volume 1. This is the reprint from Dark Horse Comics, collecting powers 1 through 11. Um, Brian Michael Bendis, Michael Avon Oming. Madman Library Edition, Volume 3. I thought that was already out. I guess I was mistaken. Maybe it was Volume 2 that came out. Um, but this collects 650, 680 pages, $99.99. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Forgotten Myths coming out that week. And Minecraft box set graphic novels. These little box sets are cute. I know they're trade paperbacks, but they're adorable. And we're also going to get the Without You box set of Minecraft. Love and War. Andrew Wheeler and Killian Nee are the creators of this book. 40 Seconds. Jeremy Hahn's stories here. Collecting issues 1 through 5 of the Comicsology Originals. Uh, he wrote The Realm. That's what I remember him from. The World of Black Hammer Library Edition, Volume 4, coming out. Collecting Skull Digger and Unbelievable Teens in a deluxe oversized hardcover format. EC Archive Shock and Suspense Stories, Volume 2, coming out in trade paperback format. 7 through 12 of those wonderful stories. And Black Hammer Volume 7, Reborn Part 3, collecting Reborn 9 through 12. And from IDW, it's a Transformers type of week. Transformers Volume 6, Wars End. So this collects Transformers 37 through 43, Wars End 1 through 4, and Fate of Cybertron. Um, this collects that era of Transformers, not the Face era. Sadly, the Face 3 will not be finished collected in oversized hardcover format. So when I do my... Uh, reading order of Transformers, I have to throw in the books, the trade paperbacks that make up the finale of that era of IDW. These are some of the last books actually published by IDW that will have Transformers, and it breaks my heart because I hate to, I hate to see it go, especially when we have things like this. The Last Bot Standing, Nick Roche and EJ Sue, both wonderful people that worked on Phase 1 and Phase 2 of Transformers. Oh, man. And I'm assuming that, I, I don't know anything about it. I assume that's like Old Man Logan. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the IDW Collection Volume 2. This is the trade paperback edition. Collecting issues 13 through 20 of the ongoing series. And you have the one-shots of Casey Jones, April, Fugitoid, Krang, and Baxter Stockman micro series. And the Secret History of the Foot Clan. That's a big book. 416 pages. Usagi Jimbo Crossroads. So this is the full color version, uh, collecting issues 22 through 26 of Usagi Ojimbo by IDW. And from others, oh wow, we have a lot of good books coming out. Uh, Boom Comics, we have Buffy 97 trade paperback. And this is by Jeremy Lambert, Casey Gilley, Jenny Frizen doing that cover. 
That's where she's been hiding. She's been doing the covers for Buffy. I forgot about those. And we also have the Disney Masters Collectors, which I thought the box sets were over and done. We have box set 13 and 14 coming out. This, of course, being published by Fanta Graphics. This is the stuff that has never been released in America. It's been released in single volumes, but it hasn't been released um, in box sets. Or before the single volumes has never been released. And we're also getting volumes... 7 or 15 and 16 in a box set format. Also from Fantagraphics, still alive. This is Undergrounds. Fantagraphics Undergrounds, still alive. That one is $30 for that hardcover. The Disney Masters are a little more. They're $59.99. In Cow, the slipcase hardcover is coming out in November. Looks like it's been pushed from, I think it was supposed to be March. They moved it to November. I'm going to reach out to actually. Um, humanoids to see what this is and what what exactly it looks like in compared to the original one that was well not the original one but the slipcase that came out in 2019 Alejandro Jodorowsky and Mobius together oh man so good and then we're also getting a hardcover called Incal Psychoverse so Mark Russell and Yannick Paquette working in this in the world of Incal I know that's something that when I interviewed Mark Wade and my contact at IDW or at Humanoids was telling me that they were going to start working on a, on the world of Incal. Very cool. Jason Upside Dawn, <laughs> I love that cover, and that's a fan of graphics book. And Walt Disney's Uncle Scrooge and Donald Duck Bear Mountain Tales. Wow, it's an it's a hardcover. I don't know if it's oversized or not. It's a standalone collection of Scrooge McDuck's amazing comic adventures. That I assume this is the big okay, it's their first meeting. That's what it is. Special single volume collects return to Bear Mountain. Oh, I'm I'm all in for this. Yes, $35. Hopefully it's oversized. Um 78 miles per hour trade paperback volume one printed or published by Red Five Comics. And Algorithm Reality graphic novel is coming out. I love that cover of the crying it was a scorpion and i don't know what kind of bug that is damian bradfield and david sanchez are the two people working on this book this is published by nbm and einstein graphic novel he doesn't get a lot of graphic novels i know i remember the um was it baby Einstein? not baby einstein's the little the it was the little people books um i can't remember it was a book series by brad Meltzer. And I believe it was Dark Horse that published it, but it was like Abraham Lincoln and Einstein. Little Heroes, I think it was, what it was called. Uh, but this is published by First Second Books. And it is written by Jim Altiviani and Gerald Dye. It's the author of the number one New York bestseller, Feynman. Okay. I don't know what this is, but it's published by First Second. Probably a biography on him? Kaiju Score, Volume 2, Steal from the Gods. Um, let's go another route with this. That looks so cool from Aftershock Comics. And MonsterVerse box set. That looks interesting. Remember the Universal Horror Mon MonsterVerse we were supposed to get? And we never got. But this is better than that because this is the comic book version of that stuff. Michael Moorcock's Elric hardcover box set. This is where it is now being released. And... Hopefully I'll be getting an overview of that um, sometime in the next month. A movements and Moments. That is published by Drawn and Quarterly. Museum of Mistakes. The Definitive Fart Party. Yes! Let's get mature. This is Uncivilized Books uh, that is publishing that book. Queen of Snails Graphic Memoir. And this is being published in graphic novel format, so it is a soft cover. And Graphic Mundi is the publisher on that book. Ronan and Endless Sea of Stars graphic memoir. Oh, wow, that looks so good. This is published by Abrams Comics Arts. Rick and Emily's infant son is diagnosed with Tay-Sex, an incurable neurological disorder. They're faced with the practical and emotional hurdles. Looks like a deep read, but it is November, right? It's when these... It tends to be that that's when a lot of these books are released. These deep reads. Uh, Terry and the Pirates Master's Collection Hardcover Volume 2. This must be a reprint because Volume 3 came out. 
the second week of November. Milton Caniff. Okay, yeah, that is Milton Caniff, and it's uh, Clover Press is the publisher. Now, at this moment, I just want to remind you all, check out our first sponsor. If you live in Europe and are interested in buying and pre-ordering Omnis, then you should definitely check out Walt's Comic Shop in Berlin, Germany. They have the cheapest pre-order prices for Marvel and DC books within the EU, flat rate shipping of 12 euro for all EU countries, bulletproof packaging, and all emails will be answered within 24 hours. They offer a huge selection of out-of-print books. Just head over to waltzcomicshop.com for more great deals and rare titles. And for a limited time, you can use the code near me condition, all one word at the checkout, to get free shipping for all EU countries with your first order of over 40 euros. Waltz Comic Shop, your reliable source for Omnis and premium collected editions in Europe. Iron Man, Epic Collection, The Return of Tony Stark kicks off the week of November 22nd from Marvel Comics. Uh, this one is $44.99, 488 pages. And it collects Iron Man 290 to 297, Annual 14, Marvel Super Heroes 13, Iron Man Annual Number 1, material from Marvel Super Heroes 2, 8 through 9, 12, and 14 through 15. We're looking at the Len Kaminsky era, which is regarded by a lot of us as one of the great eras of Iron Man. This is a really interesting book. Fortnite Times or Fortnite Marvel Zero War. Now, I don't play Fortnite, but I know a lot of people do and a lot of my viewers' kids do. This collects the Zero War 1 through 5 and Nexus War Thor, but it is written by Christos Gage and I happen to really enjoy his writing. The Spectacular Spider-Man, Omnibus Volume 1, my gosh. All right, this would be number 12 on my list. How did I not recommend this on my top 10? It's already stressing me out. I haven't even recorded that video. Uh, collecting Issues 1 through 42, Annual Number 1, Amazing Spider-Man Annual 13, and Fantastic Four 218. Bill Mantlo, Sal Buscema. Uh, there are two, both of the covers are available the same day, and just this phenomenal era of the first spin-off series of Spider-Man. And $125, 928 pages. Conan the Barbarian, the original Marvel Years, Volume 9. Man, it's going to be a, it's going to be a hard goodbye for this one. We have one more volume after this, and I believe that one's been pushed to January. Collecting Conan the Barbarian, 214 to 240, and What If, number 16. Sad day. Val Simaic's doing a lot of the work here, as well as uh, Michael Higgins. $125, 704 pages. Iron Fist Epic Collection, The Fury of Iron Fist. So we have the classic Claremont, Byrne, uh, Thomas, Era, uh, Gil Kane, Larry Hama. Uh, this is the latest uh, printing, and I believe the first one was done as Quad Pro. Oh, Quad Pro, well, they were notorious for doing bad books. But here we have the newest printing Collecting Marvel Premiere 15 through 25, Iron Fist 1 through 15, and Marvel Team Up 63 and 64. Spider Gwen, Gwenverse. This was the new series by Tim Seeley, collecting all five issues. I was asked if they could add that to the Spider Gwen Ghost Spider Omnibus. And I was told no, because maybe there might be more Spider Gwen one day, and they need to keep that. Okay, I added that last part. I wasn't told that. Carnage Volume 1, but I was told no, not now. Carnage Volume 1, In the Court of Crimson. This is a new series by Rom V, collecting issues 1 through 4 and Carnage Forever. Marvel Masterworks Ghost Rider Volume 4. I think this one was originally solicited for October. And collecting issues of Ghost Rider 36 through 50. And I believe this, is this the final one? I think, was it only 50 issues or did it go past 50 issues? I, I was not reading Ghost Rider, nor did I ever go back and read those. I'm actually reading them for the first time because of the... Well, no, I got the Essentials and the Marvel Masterworks. Star Wars Han Solo Chewbacca Volume 1, The Crystal Run Part 1. Collecting issues of Han Solo and Chewbacca 1 through 5 and Life Day. Mark Guggenheim writing that. David Messina supplying the artwork. The Amazing Spider-Man by Wells and Romita Jr. My wife has already read this, The New Sinister. And she was a little confused collecting issues 6 through 8 of Spider-Man. Aliens, both covers of the original Omnibus, or the original year's Omnibus Volume 3, both covers are going to be available the same day. $125, 1,008 pages, collecting Aliens, Berserker 1-4, through four, Mondo Heat, Lovesick, Pig, Aliens Havoc, Purge, Alchemy, Resurrection, these are all the miniseries, Kidnapped, Survival, Glass Corridor, Stalker, I've only read just a handful of these, Wraith, Apocalypse, 
The Destroying Angels Xenogenesis Aliens 1 through 4, the 2009 series, plus material from Dark Horse Comics 22 through 24. Dark Horse Presents 101 to 102, 117, 121, and 140. Annual 97, a decade of Dark Horse number 3, and Free Comic Book Day 2009 Aliens. <laughs> that is a lot of books. That's a lot of stories in there. From DC Comics, we kick it off with DC por Poster Portfolio, George Perez in tribute to the legend that we lost this year. Still saddened about that, man. The, the other history of the DC Universe, John Ridley's book, is coming out in paperback format. This is one of the DC Black Label books. I love that cover of Black Lightning and Thunder. Superman and the Authority, also coming out in paperback format, $16.99. Grant Morrison and Mikhail Janin working together. Batman Black and White Box Set. The price point on these always crack me up. This one's $105. I think one of them was $93. I always wonder, like, all right, let's get three more dollars. Nah, let's deduct five dollars. We'll make it 105 instead of 110. 110 is too much. But this collects black, uh, black and white one through five of Batman. Kicking off the manga for that week is Blade of the Immortal Volume Seven. This is the big deluxe editions from Dark Horse Comics, forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. And this collects volumes twenty to twenty two in the original seven by ten serialized format. And it's got this fall leather look to it. I love these books. They're beautiful. Best of Attack on Titan. This is the color edition. Has anybody been picking up this series in color? I'm curious to see what colors they use. If they went like the House of the... Not House of the Dead. High School of the Dead colors. Or Akira colors. But I'm curious about that. I love the covers. They're very in your face about it. And don't toy with me Nagatoro box set. Another box set I did not know was coming out, but looks really cool. Common Rider Kuga, Volume 1. This is published by Titan Comics. They did Adam, The Beginning, which was freaking excellent. And I'm curious to see what this is. Um, now, Common Rider, of course, was known in America as Mass Rider. Noise is getting a reprint from Tokyo Pop. Now, the interesting thing about this is this is set in that Blame universe. Um... I'm sorry, it's getting a new printing from Vertical. Vertical now owns the rights. It just surprises me that it's not being printed by Kadansha, who owns the rights to blame, but it's being printed by Vertical. This is $19.99. I don't know the dimensions of this, but it is the this is the week it come, comes out, and a lot of people are going to be very happy. That was a sleeper announcement for me. I didn't even see that one coming. Steam Revere in Amber, Volume 1. I love that cover, and I love that title. I don't know what this book is about, but I had to throw it in here based on the cover and the title. It has a very steampunk look to it. Thunderbolt Fantasy Omnibus Volume 1. Look, I had a lot of books on here just based on titles, and sometimes all you need is that word <laughs> omnibus on the title, and you sneak right in there. Tower of God hardcover, and this one's... Published by Webtoon, Unscrolled. Uh, from the world of Image Comics, I didn't know about the series, but holy crap. Oh, man. The, wow. Zah. Wow. Uh, cover Girls by Gil and March. And this is the soft cover of Volume 1. And then we're getting a hardcover. So there must be a hardcover of Volume 1 out there. Oh, my goodness. Volume 2. What? Can I look at that yoga pose? Um. <laughs> The hell am I saying? Um, delightfully spicy 20-page comic released in English for the first time, as well as his run on Vampirella covers. Huh. That's 20 pages seems like a lot for $24.99. Showcases his best and most breathtaking work, including beautifully crafted European adult projects like Monica and the Dream. Okay, so there's also those stories in here. This is definitely adult content, then. Firepower by Kirkman and Samney, Volume 5, collecting issues 19 through 24 of that series. I hate this place. This is really interesting. This is by Kyle Starks. Uh, but the title is not that. The title is actually F This Place, and it's spelled out. So there is a comic book shop exclusive of the uncensored variant, the explicit variant that you can get at your local comic shop or places like CheapGraphicNovels.com, Walt's Comic Shop, Dying Breed Collectors, uh, organic price books, comics, bugle, reads, comics, uh, store. So if you're wanting that, 
the explicit variant, that's the way to do it. <laughs> Lego Ninjago Carmadon. I don't know how that fits into the image world, but okay. Uh, Silver Coin Volume 3. I need to pick up Volume 2. I know there'll be a hardcover of this stuff. It's just too good not to put in hardcover format. Uh, but it's an anthology, and they all have a little silver coin each story. It's a horror anthology. This looks really good. Um, this is Andy Watson and Simon Gain Sunburn. And I believe this is a trade paperback, $19.99. It's an original graphic novel. And it's the artist behind Ghost Tree, and they're not like us. And Andy Watson is the author that did the book tour, which was one of my hidden gems. So I'm excited for this. It looks really interesting and good for image and good for them to get it published over there. That's what I'm that's what I'm, that's what's up. A Girlfriend in Paris, a bloodthirsty bedtime story. For some reason, I think of like Vertigo Comics. This is written by the Panders brothers, Arnold uh, Pander and Jacob Pander. And it is an original graphic novel story with also a um, a pinup gallery in there. We're also getting the tells from the Harrow County Library Edition. Uh, that's where this is. I know some stores already got it. It's it's really weird, and I think that's why the distribution is changing. Uh, Diamond already sent some out, but this is the book market and some direct market if they only order from PRH. So this is all set in the world of Harrow County, and hopefully this will lead to some reprints of Harrow County. That would be awesome of the library editions, because I know a lot of my viewers have been wanting that for a long time. Um, I mean, <laughs> it's one of those books that I get asked about so freaking often, and I always have to break people's heart and go, yeah, I'm sorry, I don't know. Um, we're also getting the critical role, The Tales of Exandria, Bright Queen. So... This is a, by Darcy Van Polgeest, and it is a trade paperback. That cover is beautiful. I don't know if this is part of the library editions or not yet. And speaking of library editions, the Orville Library Edition Volume 1. I can't believe there's enough material here. Uh, this collects Orville 1 through 4, and Launch Day, and Heroes, the other four-issue miniseries, and the two-issue miniseries, Digressions and Artifacts. And, the other, and then there was another two-issue miniseries. This book has 280 pages, $49.99. From IDW, we're getting The Rocketeer, The Complete Adventures, The Lux Edition. This is the Dave Stevens era. Uh, so this here has 276 pages. It is a hardcover slipcase, and it also retails for $100. So it is a big book. And we're getting Jim Hansen's The Storyteller Shapeshifters. This is the hardcover edition uh, from Boom Studios. It's a Ringo award-winning anthology series, collecting the Shapeshifters issues one through four. And I thought this was out already, but Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Necessary Evil Deluxe Edition. Uh, this, oh, no, the Go Go Power Rangers Deluxe Edition came out this month. This is Necessary Evil Deluxe. To the Lux Edition. I was mistaken it for Go Go, and then I remember Necessary Evil. I forgot it continues into uh, a volume two. Also, will be available in the box set whenever that is released. I don't have a direct market or book market release date on that because that was the Kickstarter. Men I Trust hardcover is coming out from Fantagraphics, and this is, I believe, it's $34.99. Tommy Parrish is the writer an artist on that book and we have 1914 to 1919 through the eyes of Fortunio Matania and man that this is such a really cool project so it it's 1914 and during the war era there weren't a lot of photographs or of course movies so they relied heavily on artists to portray what was going on during this war so from 1914 and 19 to 1919, this is the collection of this artwork by Fortunino Matania, and his illustrations are just, holy crap, I've seen the inside, some of the inside of the book, and it just looks freaking amazing. From Floating World Comics, we're getting 2020-2021 shot. I don't know what this is, but it looks adorable. Yeah, honestly, I thought it was a manga. This is by Fer uh, Pharrell Dalrymple, but it is not a manga. Rebellion 2008 AD is publishing a Spell of Trouble. 
Trini Tenure is the writer and artist on the book. And Asterix, Omnibus, Paper Cuts. I need to continue that. Volume 8 is coming out. Berezina, graphic novel, Volume 2. It's coming out. I remember the first one. I believe it was released in hardcover. Brink, Volume 5, continuing that really interesting story. And I've, I've read the first volume, and I need to go back to that world. I really enjoyed it. Card... Bordia Volume 2 is coming out. I love that title. It's so ridiculous and a little hard to say, honestly. Um, but that is Pixel and in Ink is the publisher on that book. Cisco Kid, Jose Luis Salinas and Reed, Trade Paperback, 19 or Volume 6, 1961 to 1964. Rod Reed and Jose Luis Salinas are the creators behind the Cisco Kid. That cover, man, that looks killer. Eternal Warrior Classic Omnibus Volume 1. This was originally published or supposed to be uh, printed in November or October, rather. And it looks like it's moved to November. But got Barry Windsor Smith there, Jim Shooter. And oh, yeah, I remember the stories. These are the 90s uh, era of Valiant Comics. Frank Frazetta Death Dealer Trade Paperback Volume 1. If you had told me there was a Death Dealer, I this is from Opus Comics. I had no idea there was a Death Dealer. Uh, and this has got to be released in hardcover somewhere. Torun Grumbeck, of course, is the writer on the book. Mitch Iverson and Stefano Martino and Diego Galindo are the creators behind this. Cover by Frank Frazetta. Frights from Feral. Welcome to Feral. Cute. Holiday House is publishing that book. I Am the Law. How Judge Dredd Predicted Our Future. That is an interesting title. And did it really predict our future? It predicted RoboCop and the popularity of RoboCop. Michael Moulter. Oh, Michael. Yeah, I got to meet him. He's my contact over at 2000 AD. Um, this is a prose novel that he's working on. And he showed me a little bit of it. Man, it looks so interesting. Uh, Michael Moulter. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. So I'm going to have to check this out. But what did it predict? Like, what? I'm curious to see what... He wrote in here because I mean the book has been going on since 1977, and yeah, from 2000 AD. So I'm curious what he thinks was predicted. I don't want to read about it, um, but it looks really interesting. I mean that's 45 years. I can tell you it predicted RoboCop though. I know that for a fact. In the beginning, epic of the Anunnaki, published by Graphic History Publishing, and this is Alex Teplish. Ancient legends, myths, and religions from around the world have spoken of gods and angels, not always in the spiritual sense, but actual flesh and blood beings interacting with mankind. Looks a little sci-fi. And Judge Dread by Mick McMahon. Hardcover. This is the Apex edition. These are bigger editions. It's almost like they're artist editions that they have over there. And Larso Winch, graphic novel, volume 19, The Edge of Night. Is coming out as well as Life Zero hardcover and Life Zero hardcover is being published by Ablaze. Woo! Love and Rockets. Uh, wow, this is huge. Uh, it's a big box set. First 50 classic 40th anniversary box set and $400. That is a big book. But it's one that, I mean, set the bar for a lot of indie creators. Lucky Penny Color Edition trade paperback coming out. Cute. Uh, Memories from the Civil War, graphic novel volume 3. This is from Cine Books. And it's not the American Civil War, but a futuristic Civil War. And PS Art Books, classic horror comics. There's also a slipcase edition. This is volume 2. The Revisionist trade paperback is coming out. I believe that one was released in hardcover last year, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Sarah, Deluxe Edition from TKO Books, who isn't done with Deluxe Editions. That same week, Sentient Deluxe Edition is coming out. And Sentient was one of my favorite reads. And so is Sarah. It's going to be hard to do this top 10. I'm serious. Uh, I, I would, if you're going to look, I'm recommending Sarah. Just letting you know, I'm going to sneak that in my top 10. But you go ahead and get Sentient too, because it is worth it. That's Jeff Lemire and Gabriel Walta. Walta's the artist on, was it Vision, I think? Yeah, it was Vision. Silver Age Classic Space War Hardcover, Volume 3. Another one that comes in hardcover and a slipcase. 
Spotted Double Trouble hardcover. Cute. Uh, that That's a cute title. And to wrap up that week, Wild Volume 1. So I was born to be... Or is it So I Was Born to Be Wild? No, it's Wild Volume 1 or So I Was Born to Be. This is by Oni Press. Coming in the last week of November, November 29th from Marvel Comics, we have Thor Epic Collection, Blood and Thunder. This is during the Ron Mars era. And Bruce Zick doing a lot of the artwork in here. Collecting 468 to 475 of Thor, Annual 18, Silver Surfer 86 uh, to 88. The Warlock Chronicles 6 through 8 and Infinity Watch 23 to 25. So, yeah, this is the big crossover with Silver Surfer. It's, um, oh my gosh, Tom Greinberg is the artist on some of this, and people are very opinionated about him, but I love his artwork. The best Marvel stories by Stan Lee. Omnibus is also coming out that week. It's a collection of different stories by Stan Lee, and of course, you've got a lot of artwork in here by Jack Kirby. Both covers will be available that very same day. Savage Spider-Man. This is the continuation of Joe Kelly's book. This time around, Gerardo Sandoval doing the artwork while Nick Bradshaw is supplying the cover. This collects five issues, miniseries, and it's also going to be part of that omnibus. X-Factor by Peter David Omnibus Volume 2. And if you watch my breaking news, you know there's a Volume 3 coming. Meaning that, that I think there's enough for one more volume uh, but this here collects X Factor uh, 1 through 20, Madrox 1 through 5, 21 through 2048 stories, 25 through 39, The Quick and the Dead, Layla Miller, uh, One Shot, and She Hulk 31. So it's a brand new era. It doesn't follow directly after the Peter David Omnibus Volume 1, but you may see this sneak up in my top 10. And I'll explain a little more as to what that is. Uh, New Warriors Classic Omnibus Volume 2. Oh my gosh. Finally. Collecting New Warriors 27 through 53. New Warriors 3 through 4. Night Trasher 4 Control 1 through 4. X-Force 32 through 33. Night Thrasher number 1. Uh, and then uh, 11 through 12. Nova 6 through 7. New Warriors Ashcan Edition. And material from Marvel Comics presents 122. 159 to 163, Marvel Holiday Special number two. Wolverine Patch, Larry Hama returning to his character that he helped build up. And I know he was there towards the tail end of the Patch era, but it's still Larry Hama. And he's joined this time around by Andre DeVito, collecting the five issue miniseries. Iron Fist, the Shattered Sword. This is Alyssa Wong now writing the character of Iron Fist. And I think this is the new Iron Fist because Danny Rand is no longer. Um, possessing the power of Iron Fist, collecting the five-issue miniseries. And then from the world of DC Comics, we have World of Krypton. This is Robert Vendetti and Michael Avon Oming's miniseries, collecting all six issues of that. Superman, Son of Kal-El, Volume 2, The Rising. This is a hardcover, uh, collecting more of Tom Taylor and John Timm's run on that book. Aquaman by Brandon Thomas and Chuck Brown. Sammy Basri is the artist, collecting the five-issue miniseries. Fables 20th Anniversary box set finally coming out that day. Uh, this was in my top 10 a few months ago, but it's been delayed, and it is finally coming out in November. As well as Superman, the Golden Age Omnibus Volume 7, collecting Action Comics 125 to 143, Superman 55 through 65, and World's Finest uh, Comics 37 through 47. That is fine. That People were worried that that was going to get canceled, but it was not. And... From the world of manga, we have Attack on Titan, the Colossal Edition, Volume 7. Oh my gosh, yes. We we need that. We need that. Um, I need that. I need that. It's the big oversized books. Don't meddle with my daughter, Omnibus. That's right. You don't meddle with anybody's daughter. Parasite, Color Collection, Hardcover, Volume 1. This is an interesting release because... Parasite has been released before by, um, it was Tokyo Pop, then Kadansha released it under their Delray imprint, and then Kadansha got the rights back, so they've reprinted it. This is the color collection, though, of that series. I love this series. It's Hitoshi Iwaki writing and drawing it, and I ah, wish it was released in October because it would have been perfect for this month. They were 11. If you've not read that, this is a classic manga, and I'm so in. Like, 
I'm just surprised they are releasing this. Um, and this is being published by Dempa Books. Moto Hagio's Masterpiece. I love this book. I believe it came out in the late 70s, like 78, 76, 77, sometime around that time. Uh, there was an anime that was based on this, and I read it many years ago when Viz owned the rights to it. From the world of Image Comics, we have Ascender, the deluxe edition. For the people asking me where it's been, here it finally is. No word yet on a Descender hardcover release, but or reprint. This is Dustin Wynn and Jeff Lemire's masterpiece, the follow-up to Descender, collecting issues 1 through 18. And Spawn Origins, Volume 11, the hardcover, 126 to 138. I've reached out to the Todd Father to see if I could have a schedule of the books, because people keep asking me about those Spawn books. Speaking of Spawn, Spawn's Universe is coming out in Collected Edition. Collecting Spawn's Universe number one, extra stories from Gunslinger Spawn, and The Scorch number one. Now, from the world of Dark Horse Comics, we have The Art of God of War Ragnarok. There's a deluxe edition and a standard size edition. We're also getting Teflon Funk. This is an original graphic novel by Stefan Metallier and David Taco. And Abe Sapien, Dark and Terrible Volume 1. This is the paperback edition. Um, there was a hardcover release of this before, many years ago. Um, oh my gosh, years just fly by, three or four years ago. And we're also getting Kepler, the hardcover. This is by David Duchovny. David Duchovny from the X-Files? It's an allegor allegorical sci-fi thriller in the tradition of Planet of the Apes by critically acclaimed actor, author, musician David Duchovny. Okay, it is David Duchovny. And Phil Sevy is the artist. Maybe I'll get interview him on the show. And Melanie will take that one because she was always had a crush on that dude. Wiper! John Dunning. This is a paperback edition coming out. As well as Maze. This looks really cute. Thiago Su Suoto is the artist on that book. Last Flight Out is a paperback by Mark Guggenheim and Eduardo Ferigato coming out collecting issues 1 through 6 of Last Flight Out. The Legend of Korra Patterns in Time. These books are huge sellers in the book market, by the way. Huge, huge sellers in the book market. It's crazy. Um, there's, I mean, I mean, it's those books that have a huge fan following anyway. Um, but from the world of IDW, we have Super Trash Clash by Edgar Camacho. Uh, he is the writer and artist on that book. And Peanuts every Sunday. Oh my gosh, I was just talking about how I don't need these. I don't. I, for some reason, I passed on these. Now I need to get these box sets. This is volumes nine and ten of the box sets. Uh, collecting the years 91 through 95 showcase. Uh, this is the end. Oh, wait. I went through and that. That's it then. This is the final one. The last season's 91 through 95, showcasing the entire final decade of Schultz's 50 year opus. And the Sundays only came out on Sundays, so they're not. The black and white came out as daily. So those came out. Uh, so that's why you only get years 51 through uh, 52 in a hardcover format. This, you get like five years in one hardcover. That's what I'm trying to say. Words. They're difficult. Peanuts Every Sunday, 1996 to 2000. This is the final one. Hardcover Volume 10. Sherlock Holmes, Case of the Missing Martian. Published by Caliber Entertainment. Still around. Hell yeah, I love it. Uh, Caliber was a place I visited many years ago when I was trying to break it into comics. I got to meet David back there. Quentin Hoover, when he was still around, uh, passed away. Uh, he was... Drawing Morgana X with Alan Freeman at the time. And then he went and blew up like all over Magic. He was one of the big artists on Magic the Gathering when Magic the Gathering started. But sadly he passed away a few years ago. Or, uh, lost touch with those guys. Dan Abnett's book, The Out, is coming out by Rebellion 2000 AD. And Baby Teeth. This was a surprise. Baby Teeth Omnibus. I had no idea that they had enough... Because, I mean, I have the year one hardcover. Aftershock does some really strange things with their collections. It seems like sometimes they just play it by ear. But this here collects issues 1 through 20. It is $99.99, though. Donnie Cates, if you've not read it, uh, it is really good. Gary Brown is the artist on the book. So is that it? I thought there was going to be more. Or maybe it's just on hiatus. Barbarella, Woman Untamed, Volume 2. Published by Dynamite. This is Sarah Hoyt. Working on this book, 
Derek Chu is the artist, that cover artist. This is very nice. Climate Crisis Chronicles. This is a graphic novel published by AWA. And this one is Ethan Sachs. Okay. Um, writing it, Anthologic Dockbore is the artist on the book. It looks really good. And Down to the Bone, a leukemia story. Oh, man. This is by Graphic Mundi, Mundi sorry, PSU uh, Press is the publisher. Catherine Pioli is the writer and artist. And I, I think this is her story. When Catherine is diagnosed with an acute leukemia, a deadly form of cancer that attacks the immune system, her life is turned upside down. Like I mentioned, I think like in November and December is usually when these deep reads are released by independent publishers. So, Elvira meets Vincent Price. And she actually got to meet. When I interviewed her, she told me the story about meeting one of her biggest, like, superstars that she always wanted to meet. And it was Vincent Price. So that was a really cute story. Endangered is coming out from Blood Moon Comics. This is John McCarthy and Ron, jo Ron Joseph uh, collecting issues one through four of Endangered. I've never heard of that, nor nor the publisher. I'm not, not familiar with that publisher. Fanagraphics Underground Delia. This, I think, was supposed to be released this month in November, or October, I'm sorry, but it got pushed back. But that is now finally coming out in graphic novel format in November. And from the static, it's coming out uh, in trade paperback from Band of Bards. That's the publishing company. Hell Sonya. So not Hell H-A-I-L, but Hell, like the place, the word that my daughter can't say. Chris Hastings is the writer. Pasquale Qualano, Qualano is the artist on that book. It's a hell of a cover. Inside the Mind of Sherlock Holmes. That's another Sherlock Holmes book. What do they know that we don't know about Sherlock Holmes? And that one is published by Titan Comics. It's Benoit Dahan and Cyril Liron are the writer and artist on the book. It features a die-cut hardcover in the shape of Sherlock's mind. Why couldn't we get that for Wolverine Omnibus Volume 3, baby? That would have been cool. Jackpot. Oh, every time I hear Jackpot, I think of that character in Marvel Comics. Aftershocks Comics. Um, that one, I think, was originally solicited for August. Uh, Ray Fox, new series, collecting the six-issue miniseries. Land of the Living Gods is coming out. And this one's published by Aftershocks Comics as well. And we're getting a Letter 44 compendium. I didn't know about this. This is from Oni Press, uh, collecting all of Letter 44. Not, I wasn't the biggest fan, and I never did end up getting the rest of the hardcovers, but maybe they pick up. If you read it, let me know in the comments. Pantera, vulgar display of power. I had to say it like that. From Z2 Comics. This is a hardcover collection and Popeye, the trade paperback Wimpy, and his hamburgers. I love Popeye. This is Fanagraphics. It is a soft cover format. Uh, E.C. Seeger is the writer and artist. So it's the classic stories. Um, so, oh my gosh, he's been gone since like the 30s, I think, is when he passed away. So this is the classic stories of Popeye. And Precode Classics, Weird Horror, Softy, Volume 1. And that will also be available in a slipcase edition. Red Sonia, Black, White, and Red Hardcover Volume 1. Pushed until that particular week. Recall, Graphic Novel. And this is an interesting title. <laughs> but it makes sense because it is Tori Amos. So it's Tori Amos, Little Earthquakes. Neil Gaiman, of course. That's a, I believe that is David Mack on the cover with a bunch of other creators celebrating 30 years of Tori Amos' breakout album, Little Earthquakes. And it is 24 stories inspired by 12 songs. I love projects like that. Love when musicians just come together when they read something and make a, you know, make a graphic novel. Walt Disney's Uncle Scrooge Diamond Jubilee Collection. Like I said, this list is going to be tough to have 10. You know what? I may just do 13. I may just do 13 just to... Call it a day. Woman Heart, Volume 2, A Tale of Two Wolves. This is published by uh, Mad, Mad Cave Studios. And this here uh, collects the, I believe, the issue 7 through 12 of Woman Heart. 
and it's Mark London and Alejandro Giraldo. 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 I'll leave it at that. Uh, but that's it. Check out our sponsor here in America. This episode is brought to you by CheapGraphicNovels.com, your online home for graphic novels and collected editions up to 50% off cover price. They have excellent shipping and prompt and helpful service. Check out their bargain deals for up to 90% off cover price. And don't forget that CGN also takes pre-orders. That way you don't miss out on the hottest releases. And they are currently running a special promotion for you Minties. If you're a first time customer, after receiving your order confirmation email, reply back to that email and let them know near mint condition sent you their way. They will then apply a free shipping promotional credit to your next order in the US. Cheap Graphic Novels, your source for the hottest books with the kind of deep discount, quality shipping and customer service that will keep you coming back for more. So that was the list of upcoming collected editions for November of 2022. Let me know in the comments what you're excited about um, and make sure to check out the video on Sunday for the top 13. I'm sneaking 13 because it's October. My channel, my rules. I don't know why I don't do 13. I like to limit myself to 10. I'm stupid like that. Uh, we also have the written documentation of this on our Patreon, so make sure you check out our Patreon. It's a phenomenal way to support the channel as well as our spread shop where we sell our logo on stickers and we have other shirt designs there too. Um, but that's it. Everyone stay healthy and safe. Wow, five weeks. I'm gonna lose my voice. Much love.